<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Photo Joseph's Photo Moment. Today is Friday, August the 5th, and I checked the date before we went live, so I didn't have to look at my watch. So today, we are going to talk about something that is by request of my lovely assistant, Tiana, who is sitting right over there that you can't see, um, because she's about to buy one of these things for herself and said, well, you know what? Other people out there might be looking at these and wanting to know more about them. And the these in question is this right here, the Apple... Light, no, Lightning to SD card reader. Got to get the name right. So the whole point of the Apple Lightning to SD card reader is that you can read your SD cards over the Lightning port into your iPhone or iPad. So here's how this works. You're out shooting and shooting, and you decide that you want to share a picture on social media, or you just want to import your pictures, and you're not carrying your laptop. You're only carrying an iPhone or an iPad. You want to get them off of the card, back them up, whatever it might be. Point is, you need to get your pictures from here to here. Now this is an iPad Pro, but this now works as of iOS, uh, whatever the current iOS is, 9. As of iOS 9, maybe 9 point something, anyway, this works with the iPhone as well. It used to only work with the iPad, but now it works with the iPhone too. So the idea is pretty simple. You take out your memory card and insert the card into the reader and then the reader into your iOS device. So I've got photos already running here. We're going to do this kind of this way and let's plug this guy in. And within a second or two, it's going to launch the import window automatically, or three or four seconds, maybe five. It's going to launch that, and we are going to quickly start to see the pictures that are on the card start to draw. Quickly. Very quickly. Things always take longer when you're demoing them live. I would like to point this out. Am I at the top of this? Usually the thumbnails start drawing almost instantly. I'm not really sure what's going on here today. But clearly, it's because it's a live demo. <laughs> Come on. Okay, seriously, this has never... <laughs> I plugged this card in just to make sure there were pictures on it before we did this, and they came right up. And now it's not. Fabulous! You know what we're going to do? We're just going to start this over, because that's the way we do things. In fact, let's see, I think you can even do this from the desktop. Let's try this again. Plug that guy in. I think it will launch the Photos app on its own, I think. Yep, there it goes. And hopefully this time it's going to work. Because if it doesn't, that's a pretty bad demo. Wow, this is terrible. Okay, honestly, this thing works a lot better than this, always, except today. That's remarkable. Well, what it should do right about now is start showing us the thumbnails on the screen. This, you know, maybe this didn't get plugged in all the way. Let's just do that. Let's reseat the card in there, and let's see if that makes any difference. Because it would be really interesting to actually see the pictures draw on the screen. And it's not going to. Fantastic. We'll just leave it there, see if it happens. So normally this works, I promise. Um, I have been using this thing a lot, and it works every time. This is the first time this has ever done this. Anyway, so what will happen, what's supposed to happen, the thumbnails will draw in here. You can see a button at the top that says Import All. And there is another button that will say Import Selected if you've selected a few of them. So if you wanted to just import a couple of pictures because you're, you've shot something, now you want to get it onto your iPhone to share it, on social media, whatever, you can import just that one or two pictures and off you go. You just tap them to select, hit import, and those will import. If you tap import all, hey, look, there they come. They're starting to draw. Wow, that was remarkable. Something's seriously wrong here. Um, so here, now I can start to see. I can start to tap them. I don't know if you can see it from there, but there's little check marks appearing on there. And there is now an import and delete selected option. If I hit the import option, it's going to say import all or import selected. Now, if I do the import all, and I'm not going to tap it now because there's a lot of pictures on here, but if I tap the import all, it is going to ask if you want to import duplicates or not. So this is great. So if you're using it as a backup, you can be out and about on your holiday with just your iPad or iPhone and your, your camera and be able to back up everything to your device. Now, granted, you may have more storage in the camera than you do on the device, but it just depends what you've got. If you've got a 128 gig iPad or iPhone, then this is probably a pretty viable way to back up your pictures while you're on the road. Um, if you, again, if you've imported the pictures once and then you go stick the same card back in and import again and you hit import all, it's going to say, do you want to import the duplicates? Obviously, you would say no at that point and you would get just the new ones in there, which is great. So you can have that quick and easy backup. And then, of course, if you're connected to iCloud and you actually get on the internet, then those pictures will start to sync to the cloud and they'll be backed up yet again. Um, just a little word of advice, I would never ever, while you're on holiday or on any trip, delete the pictures from the memory card itself. Because if you delete these and then you lose this, you've lost all your pictures. 
if you leave them on here and you leave them on here, then at least you've got a couple of copies. And of course, as they're syncing to the cloud, you'll have an extra copy yet again. So let's see what else. If you are running out of space on the SD card, don't delete it, just buy another SD card, right? SD cards are cheap, so that's what I would definitely recommend. If you're out traveling, you're running out of space, just buy another SD card. They're super cheap these days, and that's much better than deleting it and risking losing your photos. And once, of course, you've got the pictures into your computer, you can just do whatever, or into your um, iOS device, you can do whatever you want. You can post them on Facebook, you can uh, Instagram them, you can work with them with any number of photo apps that are out there today. And that's essentially all there is to it. Again, I don't know why it took so long to load. Normally does not work that way. Now, a couple things too about the reader itself. I'm gonna unplug this guy. This is the, the newest model. And this is the one that works at USB 3 speeds on the iPad Pro. On all other iOS devices, it, does, it just works at USB 2 speeds. But on the iPad Pro, it'll work at USB 3. Now, this is the only, if you go to apple.com, this is the only one that you'll buy. But if you're buying it from a third party, you wanna make sure you are getting the newer one. And the easy way to tell if you have two of them put side by side is you can see the newer one is taller than the old one. Other than that, it's a model number that you have to be 19 and have perfect eyes to read. Um, let's see here. Ooh, I can almost see it. The old one is A1441, so that's the old one. You don't want that one. The new one, they've printed in an even fainter text. It looks like A1595. I think that's right. Now, I have all of this on an article on photoapps.expert. I wrote it, this is back in December of last year. But the article is called New, if I can read it, New Apple Lightning to SD Card Camera Reader, USB 3 Speeds on iPad Pro. Um, I will put a link to this article in the notes of this, uh, of this Facebook Live post. If you're watching this later on PhotoApps.expert, head over to Facebook slash PhotoJoseph to find the post with the link in it. But this in here, again, I show the difference, the side-by-side -side between the two of them, go through a how-to on how it's selected, kind of how it's imported. You see all the bits and pieces in there. And there's even a speed comparison, which is kind of interesting, between the old reader and the new reader. Um, just to give you a, a quick stat on it, the new reader, let's see, time to import per picture, it went from uh, 2.4 seconds per picture, and that's just the camera that I had on my camera, my, my particular photos, 2.4 seconds, almost two and a half seconds, to 1.3 seconds. So quite a difference. Not quite half, but uh, or not quite twice as fast, but almost twice as fast. And I do believe that is everything. Ty, do you have any questions about this SD card reader, since you're the one who are asking about this? Hmm, she's thinking, she's thinking. If you have any questions about it, dear watcher, uh, please, by all means, you know where to put them in the comments there, and I will get to those if they're not coming up now while we're watching live. Ooh, ooh, question in the back. Yes. So. Somebody's at the door. <laughs> come on in, Lauren, we're live. Come on in. Uh, <laughs> come in, come in, come in. Go ahead, what's your question? So is there a different one for an iPad versus one for an iPhone? Different, is there a different one for iPad versus iPhone? No, they are the same. It's all the same lightning connector, same... Uh, same reader, doesn't matter which one you have. So Lauren, come over here real quick. So in about um, 20 minutes or so, maybe a half hour, we'll probably get a little bit of a later start, I'm going to be doing a live conversations with my friend Lauren. Come on in here and stick your face in the, in the camera. This is Lauren, you're not mic'd up, but this is her. She's gonna be on camera with me pretty soon here. So be sure to, uh, be sure to come watch that. Why don't you have a quick little preview since you're here about what it is we're going to be talking about. Um, That's here, a you, great question. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping you're going to tell me. Oh, okay. Well, what's no, just, just the motorcycle thread? Yeah, give, yeah, give a no. Give a quick little preamble for that. Yeah, I'm a photographer, and uh, I am about to embark on a 9,000-mile journey across America to photograph survivors of sex trafficking and also to raise funds and awareness for a local organization. So I'm going to tell you guys all about it. There you go. So that's coming up. That'll be coming up in about <laughs> half an hour uh, live on... Photo, uh, live on facebook.com slash photo joseph and of course we will be saving that and posting that again later so i think that's it uh, again you have any questions you know where to put them and otherwise we will see you next time bye bye have a great weekend